Uh oh. So our little dog relieved herself in front of the camera again. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I mean, she's real, you know. She she does the thing. I'm glad of it. <laughs> she at least she, she knows exactly spot. when we're recording. So. Yeah, yeah. She seems to hold it until then. You Let's know. Up. And somebody in Scotland said something about those little Jack Russells. You know, they because she peed on one of them. one oh, of the videos. She's back up in. <laughs> And this one, she's oh. rolling away. Good for you, Tad. Savvy. But anyway, I don't know where we were. I know where we well, are in St. George's Hill. Tom Jones was my neighbor right across the road, <laughs> right across the road from me. At 3 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> this guy came knocking on my door. <laughs> You're going to have to turn that amp down, man. <laughs> was it Tom Jones? No, it was his guy that worked for him. But I was blaring it out, you know. You're going to have to turn it down. Yeah, he lived directly across from, from me. Yeah, I, was, I had a lot of fun. Well, who were some of the other neighbors you had there? Well, it was, uh, John Lennon and Yoko lived on the other side of the estate. See, they were in, in uh, Sunny Heights until they got the, uh, their place fixed up however the way they wanted it. I guess they ran out of white, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they have a tendency to paint everything white, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a painter, <laughs> so just doing everything white, maybe that's okay for a door or something, or one room. But anyway, that's none of my none of my my business. But uh, that was, but I tell you who was it that, on that estate? A bunch of stuffy talk, 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 talk like their mouth is full of potatoes, you know. And that's the kind of people that was my neighbors. Well, you were in the wealthy. Area of town, a, right uh, some of the most expensive land uh, in the world. <laughs> that, I think uh, I would have just Hill, right out of Waybridge. Overlooked that and just gone on with Waybridge. Life. <laughs> yeah, and I just went on with life, you know. And uh, they wouldn't let uh, the Beatles in the golf club. Oh. I don't even <laughs> play golf, and so I lived on the 18th hole. Maybe it's the ninth hole. Didn't matter. There was a hole down there, and <laughs> from my my terrace. I could see down, I could see that that thing. Well, Eric bought me a, 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 sing, a single point uh, uh, crossbow for Christmas. Right. And you took both hands to load it <laughs> like that. And I, all you had to do is put this little red dot on whatever it was and pull the trigger and bam, there, it's there. Right. You know, it, you don't even get to see it fly. And uh, I, I hit that hole many times from up there. Bam. You know, <laughs> so I'm sure oh, right. looking around, wondering where do these things come from. You know, I had holes in one all the time with that, that, that single point uh, <laughs> <laughs> bow and arrow set, crossbow, and all these big trees all around, it. hundreds of years old, and these big trees. And uh, my uh, crossbow, all the shafts on it, they're about that long, and they were brightly colored, like neon red neon green neon orange and yellow and white i mean amazing reds were beautiful uh and i pow, i put them in the very very tops of all the trees around to look like a little christmas decoration out there now these are the queen's trees right they had belonged to the queen yeah and uh <laughs> <laughs> and i decorated her trees with my shafts and i had a lot of them you know, I just had a lot of time on my hands and too many shafts. But uh, <laughs> after I moved out of there, years and years later, I went back for a visit and drove through uh, St. George's Hill. And I came up from the bottom of the road and you could see all the trees, you know, on, 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 around on the right, you know, over the golf course. And they all had these little... <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about, you know, 100 feet in the air. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. a lot of fun. I, I, I left my, 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 my mark everywhere I went. There's some of them on top of some trees. First thing I did when Eric gave it to me for, for Christmas was go out on the patio that he's got to look at her wood edge. And there was a great big tree. And I said, can I shoot that tree? He said, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <"Bah!"> <laughs> And we were shooting a tree. Well, wasn't being destructive, just having fun, innocent fun. I didn't know that they were so damn serious about their trees, though. 
Well, I mean, she owns all the Swan and all the huge oaks and everything. She she owns trees she's never climbed. Little one's falling asleep over there. Yeah, about time. <laughs> Welcome to our house, everybody. 